this is a collection of some of the things that I've made, some of the things that I've bought, and some of the things that my friends have made. I learned bear making from my friend Susie Kuka, and this is her bear, and this is her pattern. Different artists have different patterns, um, and they reflect different parts of whatever they want it to be for their bear character. Uh, I think it's important to take a class with somebody who knows how to make a bear so that they can direct you and teach you so this way you don't make so many mistakes because um, you, you will make mistakes on your first bear uh, and you typically don't want to give that bear away because they are important to you. <laughs> Sometimes I just make heads um, because it, making a good head is so important. Now, fur is very forgiving. So you can make a lot of mistakes with fur and it's okay. Um, and you simply go from side to side, catching that ear. Now I like to sew my head by hand. And it's important for me, so some people can do this better, but I pin my head. And what I do is, um, while I pin it, I'm pushing the fur in because I don't want to get that caught in my stitches and I just sew the under part of the head first, the chin, the chin and the neck area, because that'll, that'll be um, very important to how you set in the rest of your features. Um, now, I wanna make sure when I put this joint in that I hit the marks on the inside. So I wanna be very careful of that. And these joints, I'm going to put this in using a wrench and what I've done before is to glue using super glue this part to the joint itself so that it'll stay still. Your bear will tell you um, who or what she wants to be. So you, see, you can do just about anything that you want with bears and you can make them out of just about anything.